Welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. Joy us now, Alex Kimball Williams, Bad Alaskan. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to have you on the show. Uh, like we were just talking a little bit. I was listening to some of your soundtracks, like what uh, Red and Black was one of your newest albums, right? Yeah. And phenomenal, really. Thank I you. was just, I was mesmerized, hypnotized almost at one point, especially listening to uh, Do You Make Me Feel. That one was like, yes, this is like a, a movie trailer almost. Thank you. So you've nailed yeah. a great sound. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, I mean, to start out, you know, tell us a little bit about your music now, like the synthesizers and what got you into this? Because you were, <laughs> we were talking a little bit when you were setting up how you were in, uh, actually, you know, take it away. <laughs> yeah. So um, I was originally a pianist. Mm -hmm. I, do, I, I was playing jazz piano and jazz singing, you know, being so close to Kansas City. And um, then I got into drumming. I did percussion and drumline throughout school. And then I got into synths because I was in a dark pop 80s band. And then I was doing a lot of cinematic, like, movie scoring and stuff. There you go. I yeah, knew it. so you were getting the vibes. Um, and uh, I just really fell in love with synthesizers. I loved the ability to be able to play bass lines, drum lines, solos, singing. Like I just felt like I could do I could do so much mm -hmm. on synthesizers. Um, and yeah, that's kind of how I got into it. Fantastic. Uh, I, I'm not the biggest fan of synthesizers, but uh, again, I started listening to yours. And I'm like. Nailed it. Nailed it. Okay. <laughs> you, you, you won me over. Congratulations. Yeah. Uh, so I'll, I'll listen to your music. Now, you, you describe yourself as an artist activist, and I hear that in your songs. I have a lot of like, the poetry, but talking about like self-care and yeah. um, things like that. What kind of got you into that to kind of roll this all together? Yeah, um, I come from, from a long family of teachers and advocates, you know, in Lawrence. Um, one of my grandpa's sisters opened up the first black-owned business on Mass Street. Um, mm -hmm. She led one of the first restaurant sit-ins downtown. And so I just grew up around just really powerful women that had something to say and that were creative. Mm -hmm. You know, we have jewelry makers, people who are, um, I have a cousin who's an opera singer. That just runs in my family. And uh, I just felt like this is my skill set and I have something to say and share with people. I want people to listen to that album before they go to work or on their way home from classes to kind of refill their cup. And I want people to feel represented, too. There's not a lot of Native Alaskan women um, in electronic mm -hmm. music. And so just wanting to represent that in kind of our stylings of music. So the pentatonic scales, the drone and meditative sounds and repetitions. And so wanting to bring that into my music so that people feel that they hear their culture and that they feel um, like one of the songs is about how beautiful black hair is and how beautiful brown eyes are. Yes, I was listening to that yeah. one, uh, the... Big Bang, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, that one was also great. That yes, <laughs> yeah. And um, along with all that, you take your music to like schools and kind of functions. To, to, what do you teach the students? Yeah, I teach them that uh, creativity and improv and being able to sit in controlled discomfort environments, being able to develop those uh, creative ways around their problems is a social justice skill. So if you can sing in the grocery store or dance in front of your peers in seventh grade, maybe you can feel that confidence to be able to stick up for yourself and your friends and the causes that you care about. Um, I'm super into combining those two things together and doing a lot of creative writing workshops. Um, I'm also a poet and I do put that in my music. Um, and just getting kids to, to sing and, and hum and do things together. Yeah. That's, that's wonderful. I love, how can um, people reach out to you to maybe have you come do these little these classes? Yeah, well, I just made the Kansas uh, touring roster, so you can find me on KCAIC, the state arts agency online. Um, I'm also on uh, Bandcamp and all the social media platforms if people want to reach out to me directly. Um, and so, yeah, definitely reach out to me, book me for, you know, all ages. I, um, I have a lot of great presentations uh, for kids as well as adults, mm -hmm. meditation and uh, like breathing exercises mm -hmm. and stuff. Oh, see, I need one of those. I need to, <laughs> there's too much stress in my life. I need to be able to meditate and calm down a little bit. Yeah, that's, that's the goal. <laughs> yeah. I love it. And so also you're performing tomorrow night. Um, I, I, I hope I don't butcher your name. I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, Lucia. Lucia? in mm -hmm. Lawrence uh, as a part of the Countdown to Folk Alliance. So what can people expect for your show tomorrow night? Yeah, so um, I will be performing in Folk Alliance International next month, and that's what this show is supposed to get interest for. Um, and so I'll be doing traditional indigenous motifs into my music. So a lot of that, again, that pentatonic scale, a lot of those rhythms um, that you might hear in indigenous music um, and setting them to electronic music and talking um, electronic instruments and really talking about how I do that. Mm -hmm. So what parts of this are traditional, what parts of this are modernized, and really talking about um, 
you know, that Native people are still here, mm -hmm. that, you know, we, we don't just exist in the history book, and we, we, you know, you can find us at the club, in the galleries, you know, all of these places, so. I love that, because like you said, it, we, we look at these things as sometimes the history books are how it was, but it's not, it hasn't gone away. It's still here. No. It's modernized. It's, it's right here, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> it's fantastic. So, uh, what's next for for you. Do you have anything else kind of down the pipeline, any new albums, or where else can we find you? <laughs> so, I'm wrapping up a three-year project with the uh, KU Hall mm -hmm. Center. It's a digital storytelling project. I've been interviewing families that have impa been impacted by police brutality, including families in Topeka, um, and I'm turning that into a song, and so I'm going to have that song and the music video for that coming out this summer, and that's probably my biggest project yet. Okay. I'm really, really excited. <laughs> w where can people, yeah, keep, find, keep up with that then and find the yes. release. Um, so a couple members of my Black Arts Collective, I have a Black Literature and Arts Collective called Black Lawrence. Um, we have a website, blacklawrence.org, where all of our projects like that will be available. Okay, I want to check so, that out. That sounds great. Yeah. Well, um, Alex, thank you so much for joining us so far this morning. This has been a pleasure. We're going to take a quick break, but everybody, please stick around for the live performance from Alex coming up next. Ladies and gentlemen, Fox 43 AM Live and the Kansas Creative Arts Industries Commission present Bad Alaskan. Thank you. 